All right, guys, out here in LA, this is the first full day. Uh, thankfully, no travel this morning, but I've uh, been basically hanging out in the Airbnb so far this morning. Uh, we're getting ready to Uber over to the event here before too long. Just been preparing some questions to ask the guys. Uh, you know, getting a little jittery now. It's 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 really starting to set in that this is going to happen. Uh, going to be able to sit down and ask questions with you know the number one pick in the NFL last year, Trevor Lawrence. Talk to uh, All Pro wide receiver Debo Samuel, Gabe Davis, Todd Gurley. Uh, just kind of a it's kind of a crazy moment, crazy opportunity. So really thankful to be out here. But uh, again, just want to make sure I don't uh, I don't mess it up too much. So trying to prepare for that and then really the rest of the weekend is ours going to do some some stuff later tonight hopefully and hopefully uh be able to see a little bit more of la while we're out here but really been focused on this event to make sure we absolutely crush it and then it's all uh it's all really do whatever we want from there so uh excited to see what what today has in store and, and to see what uh what this opportunity is like Got to the lobby for the event. Doesn't start for about two hours, but had to get here a little early. So I guess we're gonna see what we're gonna do for two hours, but just ready for it to start. Dying for it to start. Hey, Ryan. Hey, let's go. You got it, man. Thank you. You got it, dude. It's be let's go. Get to meet Trevor Lawrence, rock the Trevor Lawrence jersey. <laughs> I mean, no disrespect to Joe Burrow. That's my guy, but maybe we'll get him to sign it and give it away. It's getting real. Two biggest guys showed up, so Debo and Trevor are here, so now it's really real. Now you can't mess up. Mr. Trevor Lawrence. Here. We got to What's up? Yep. How are we doing? Good, how are you? What's up, man? Good Appreciate you, you coming on. Yeah. Appreciate you guys for having me. Am I in here? Yep. Good? There so, we go. So Trevor's here. We're going to do uh, a couple giveaways. We're going to give away some cards, some boxes, hopefully sign some stuff. So I was thinking about this earlier. If you look back a year ago, Bengals only won four games. This year, you only won three games. Jags only won three. What do you think the Jags, you, what do you guys have to do to be where the Bengals are this year? What do you guys have to do to be there next year? Yeah, I, mean, I think there's a lot of things. I think you've got to take it one step at a time. Obviously, um, having the right guys in the locker room is important. And I think we got a really good group of guys. And obviously, you know, we probably need a, a few more pieces. But uh, I really like some of the guys we have. And then the coaching staff, that's that's huge. You know, obviously, yep. a lot of um, stuff going on last year, a lot of sure. changes. Half of the season, all that made it a little bit more difficult. But really like Coach Peterson, like we talked about. And I think he's great. And I, I really like the hires that he's made so far. So I yeah. think that's going to bring some juice to the organization. Uh, and really taking that momentum from the last game against the Colts and running with that into this next season. Keeping them from the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's so awesome. Whenever you can do that, it's always <laughs> a good day. Now, while we give this away, what do you, uh, if you had to guess, what do you think this is worth? Oh, I don't know the, I don't know the card market that well. <laughs> um, I would say. Let's take a wild guess. So what, what makes this card, like, unique? Yeah, I so. That's what I want to ask first. So the on campus, right, this is an insert. Um, so this is an insert from Prism Draft Picks. Uh, so these aren't in every single pack, right? Gotcha. So it's a little bit more unique, yeah. but it's also a PSA 10, right? So PSA is going to be the premier grading company. Gotcha. So their their stamp on this, 10 is as high as it goes. So oh, wow. you're also, again, like I mentioned earlier, quarterbacks and cards are what you want. The young, upcoming guys, you're trying to find the next Tom Brady, the next Peyton Manning, right? So if you can got, get top prospect, PSA 10, card that's a little bit more unique, okay. stuff like this is definitely desired. Gotcha. I say... 600 bucks? Any idea? Thousand. Oh, wow. Thousand dollars. All right, well, uh, can't thank you enough for coming on. Seriously, it was thank a blast. You guys, man. That, was, that was fun. I got to open the first packs of cards. That was cool. So Very cool. You guys have me on. Thank you again. Yeah. Best of luck this Good year. To see you, man. Thanks, thank Trevor. I saw on on, on Twitter you uh, you don't watch a lot of film and a lot of other guys. Why, uh, why is that? Uh, nobody played uh, the position that I actually play. Sure. So. So this year, right, you you uh, you know set a record for rushing touchdowns as a wide receiver. You, you like you said, you run, you pass, you do you do everything. So what what position are you then in the NFL this year? Uh, wide back, receiver, player, running wide, back. Wide back. Okay. All right. Respect that. Um, can I uh, can I get you to sign one of these and yeah. give it away? All right, guys, we're gonna get Debo to sign this here. <clears throat> so I also saw on uh, 
on Twitter you were uh, you're a big advocate. You've been one for a while for uh, for Jimmy G. My dog. Well, what were you? Uh, what kind of feedback were you giving to some of the people that were uh, a little critical of Jimmy this year? Um, like a lot of people say, numbers don't lie. So um, the only at the quarterback last year that had a better win percentage than Jimmy was Tom Brady. So I mean, like you just want to go by numbers, you win. Yeah, it's a pretty good category. You ain't wrong there. Do you? Uh, do you think this year it'll be it'll be Trey? Yeah. Yep. I do. What do you, uh, so with you, you got Elijah Mitchell, right? He had a pretty good year, battled through some injuries. And then you got Trey, kind of a, a, a dual threat guy. What do you think that's going to do to your offense, right? And I, uh, with, with the creative mind that Kyle got, who, who <laughs> knows what we were going to come out there and yeah. start doing. But uh, I was just prepared to see what, you know what I'm saying, what the future holds for this team. Yep. I think it'll be uh, exciting to see what happens with uh, replacing Welker. Right? Mm -hmm. You guys lost. You guys lost Welk or uh, Wes Welker, and I. I saw some reports that like you, you were pretty close with him and with, with Kyle. Yeah. Saw you did like you went in there and talked about like life, football, yeah. stuff like that. Learned a lot from him. All right. Grew up a Patriots fan, so Wes is uh, Wes is my guy. All right, guys, we got 1.3k. We got 1,000 people trying to win this Debo Samuel card. You ever uh, you ever collect cards growing up? Never. 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 What do you uh, what do you think like a rookie autograph of Debo Samuel is worth? I don't know. What should it be worth? About a thousand. You ain't wrong. You guys have come so close to a Super Bowl the last couple of years. Your first year, you, Mahomes gets it done. Last This year, you came so close to being the Rams. What do you guys got to do to get over the hurdle and, and win a Super Bowl and bring a bring a title to San Francisco? Man, it's harder than a lot of people think. Um, it was definitely harder this year because we started 3-5. and five. Yep. So after that, it just felt like every game we played was a playoff game. and It was, it was back against the wall. So it's a... I mean, we just we just can't start off slow the way we did and make it make it a kind of easier run for us. Sure, sure. You guys also play in one of the toughest divisions in football. You're right. Right. Playing at Aaron Donald and yeah. the Rams and the Cardinals and Everybody the Seahawks. Everybody on the side, really good. Yep. Right. Got to select. So one thing in cards that's kind of cool that people look after or look for is like when it matches the team color. So that's kind of like a maroon. That's kind of a Niners a Niners color. At least the closest one you can get to it. This was from. Um, my rookie year. That picture? Against the Tampa Bay. Yeah, so it is a rookie. Is, is that the game? It looked like Tampa Bay. Very cool. T Todd. Well, I never wore my mouthpiece the first, that when we played them. Really? Yeah. Interesting. It's crazy you could find that from that picture. That's yeah, wild. Right yep. You guys see that? Debo pointed out. background, too. You see the Tampa Bay in the background. Yeah, he said he didn't wear his mouth guard. How you doing? What's up? Nice How you to doing? meet you. you good? good. Yeah, you good? Did you get him to sign it at least? Yeah, we got him no, signed. The jersey. No, I didn't ask him. He signed one, we gave it away, but maybe next time. Yeah. Maybe you can sign it. We'll get a Todd Gurley signed Trevor Lawrence jersey. No, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we do have a Todd Gurley jersey, I though. Can sign that for, you for sure. Perfect. It's kind of crazy. We went, what, 54 years with a home team never hosting the Super Bowl in two years in a row. Back. back to back. Back to back, right? Crazy. Can one I get those, a signature on that? One of those um, ESPN facts. Yep. All right, guys, we're going to get Todd Sorry. to sign this. Yeah, whatever, whatever works for you. Probably somewhere on the zero. Let me flatten it out. You know I'm left-handed, so I'm pretty. Left. Really? Yeah, it's like. See, I like this. Like most, the fact that you're so like uh, attention to detail on the auto, man, it because I makes know, a big difference I know in myself, cards. So like, yep. I just can't just. Can't just do it. Yeah. I respect it. Like towels, those are like <laughs> the worst. And then like I gotta watch my hand because yep. I'm left-handed to make sure I don't like. You throw the little number on there. Yep. Three. Awesome. Very cool. That's a good looking auto right there. Uh, sorry. You know, hopefully we can grade it and see <laughs> how it comes back. See? He said, guys, he said, we hope we can grade it. All right, let's give this away. Yeah, I heard. Are we ripping this too? Yeah, so we're going to rip this and then we're going to give away some Todd Gurley signed rookie cards. All right, Key. All right, Todd's ready to rip. All right, so this will be a little different. So we're going to use your card as a filler. So when you get it out of here, I'll show you how we want to mm -hmm. do it. That's the game I got hurt. This is the game you got hurt? <laughs> I got it. He said, this is the game he got hurt. All right, before you open this, I'm going to slide this under there because what I'll show you, we don't like to, we don't no like peaking, to, no, no peeking. peeking. <laughs> All right, so there you go. I'm good. Yep. All so right. what we do is I'll hold this up and then slowly like pull your card away and it'll reveal what's underneath. Here you got, ooh, that's not bad. Um, what they call them? AJ they Dillon? Quad, what they call them? Oh. Yeah, Quad Quadzilla? Yeah. AJ Dillon. What do you think about him? I like AJ Dillon. Good compliment to um, Aaron Jones. Yep. Uh, did you know AJ Dillon collects cards? I just learned that. Yeah. Like 10 minutes ago. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he's a card collector. I wonder how he got into it. That's a good question. You ever considered getting into it? I've actually been having interest. Um, that's why I was just 
I've never met anyone from PSA until today. Sure. So I might have to go check them out. D-Rock Comics. So I know they're in Orange County. Whatnot is in Marina. Marina Del Rey. Yep. So yep. I'm gonna have to come. I'm gonna go check them out. I'm gonna go check them out for sure. Awesome. It'll be awesome to get Todd Gurley in cards. So we're gonna start with a Gabe Davis. This is a mosaic parallel. This is a Genesis PSA 10. So these are really hard to find. Yeah. And PSA 10 is is what you're after. So it's, it's as good as it gets for PSA 10. So what do you uh, what do you think something like that's worth? What is, what's a Gabe Davis PSA 10 worth? PSA 10, mm, what, $100? Oh, it's got to be more than 100 right? It's five or six. Five or five six. Five or $600 for that. You seem surprised. It's, <laughs> Five hundred for that? Yeah, cards, cards man. That ain't my real number. That's not even my real number. <laughs> <laughs> I was three when they first gave me three. Yeah. Damn, I didn't know that. That's you, crazy. You don't think it should be worth more? I think I see one going for like two hundred. Something similar to that. Did you see the playoff game you had? Yeah, but that's one game. That's a, that's a lot of catches and a lot of touchdowns. I know, but I ain't believe no five hundred. Josh Allen or something like that. Yeah, that's. Josh five, Allen that's does so well. Yeah. We'll get into that. All right, 1.3K. There's a 1,000 people looking to win this card. A lot of demand for Gabe Davis cards. You, when you came in, you've been able to, to play under Josh, right? One of the best upcoming quarterbacks in the league. I mean, yeah. just elite. Mm -hmm. what's, uh, what's it been like to play with him? And, you know, both of you guys been able to grow the last couple of years. Yeah, no, it's been great. Um, Josh is obviously has a lot of good talent and he has a big pass for the game. He's a competitor and every Sunday in this game time he just flips that switch and he turns into a different guy. And it's a lot of fun playing with him. He, he likes the big plays, he likes to make big plays and um, you know me and him have, have grown closer the past two years. So yep. definitely happy to be a part of the team with him. That's awesome. Very cool. Who uh we're gonna give another one away. So this is so it says Panini one. This is one card and these do north of five hundred dollars. Mm. So Depending on who it is. One person. Is yep, one person. And they're, they're minimum 500, you said? The boxes, yeah. The boxes. Yeah, it could be more. It could be a, a the card. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the box could be anywhere from like 500 to 800 bucks for one card. Oh, damn. Yep. Crazy. But again, if you pull like Joe Burrow, who's in the Super Bowl. How yeah. much is this card be going for? A lot. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple of them recently that have sold for like half a million. What? Half a million, yeah. You worth that much money. His good ones are. That's crazy. Sports cards are, are hot. I don't know why they're hot like that. That's $500,000? Yep. What could he get out of that? Uh, it's like a one of one jo uh, Joe Burrow. Oh. oh, does he get nothing? He just gets paid to sign the autograph. Nothing. He don't get nothing. I need to talk to that person who gave him oh, That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, no, no. All right, who we got? Another Chase Young. All right, let's give this away. Y'all need to set it up where I open a car that's me or something. <laughs> that's a little trickier. No, I know. I know. That's crazy, though. Dang. Chase How much is this one be going for? Mm, probably 150, 200 bucks. Oh, I thought you were about to say 150, that. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? All right, MB92. I was nah. about to say, people crazy. Nah, we ain't got any of the 200,000 ones crazy. yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. The Bills Mafia ones will go real no, well. No. I thought y'all was going to try and sell them because they go a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Louisville City underscore cards. Somebody might sell them. Yeah. Right? I mean, with the Bills Mafia inscription, I mean, have you ever signed a sports card with that inscription on there? Um, with Bills Mafia on a card? Yeah, have you ever put that on a card, do you think? I don't think. I put it on a helmet. I okay. I put it on a card. So that means there's only two of these in the world, and we have them both right here, right now. Yeah, I know. So the uniqueness factor to it, right? The fact that nobody else on earth owns any Gabe Davis card with a Bills Mafia inscription makes these rare. Makes it unique, right? Nobody else has them. Yeah. Go find go find me somebody else that's got these. And I, I don't know. Can't find them. I don't know. I don't that's know. why they're unique. And they're authenticated. Yeah. I mean, one or two. Or All right, so let's uh, let's do this. You've never done this. You've never uh, signed Bill's Mafia. Let's write one dash two there and two dash two here. And we'll uh, we'll give them away. Nah, Only nah, two in the world. I, nah, if I done did it in the world and I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's on y'all. Th these are the two today. You said one out, one out, one of, two. out of two and then two out of two. Yep. So we'll let those sign. There it is. Only two Gabe Davis Bills Mafia. There it is. Maybe. Someone said 3000 3000 what? Someone said 3000 $3, dollars I mean. They better send it to me. <laughs> guys, <laughs> there you go. If you buy it, Gabe Davis wants his check. How are you feeling now, Ryan? Uh, my lips are chapped because I've been talking for an hour and a half straight. But, man, that was a... Uh, 
That was exciting. I mean, such nice guys. I mean, Todd Gurley was probably my favorite. It was cool because Trevor Lawrence is Trevor Lawrence. Like, yeah. that was really, really exciting. I think Trevor's going to be a stud. But Todd Gurley, man, he was just... He was awesome. Was so nice. He like, Gabe, turned the camera to himself. He was so and was just smiling, like, right? Like was Gabe awesome. Davis was cool. Julie, I mean, they were all so nice. That was, that was crazy, man. That was fun. That was wild. All right, so we are at, by the way, Burger, not far from, we're going to a, we're going to Cassius Marsh's event break thing tonight. I think it's at like eight o'clock, so we have about an hour to kill. We haven't eaten all day because we were preparing for, I was preparing for that, so you two uh, didn't decide to get any food, so. That was mental support. <laughs> yeah, so they, they were mental support, so. We didn't get food, so we're, uh, we're starving. Yeah, just exhausted i mean it's 10 o'clock back in columbus and this is the first time any of us are eating a full meal all day uh so yeah just ready to eat some food and then go check out this i think they're doing like a 50k break at this tonight it's got like 2020 nt football 2009 sp authentic it's a bunch of different stuff but gonna go to that watch that and then go home sleep and get up tomorrow and do some more cool stuff what's up fellas Champion! How do you feel? Good. I'm tired. Yeah? Yeah, this is crazy. You crushed it. You Thank crushed you. It. Thank you. I was at home all morning going through notes. All, I, really? We didn't. I didn't. We, we I just ate. I took a picture ate. of him and he's like so you focused. Said that to me. I want to put that in the recap. It's funny for the longest time, like none of my family knew about Card Collector Two. Oh my God. No one. So my buddy, he came to our wedding, and he's sitting there at my wedding. And he's like talking to my sister. And she's like, How'd you meet Ryan? He's like, On Instagram. She's like, He doesn't have Instagram. <laughs> my sister was baffled. So wow. they know about it now, but yeah, it was, it was a long time. All right, guys, getting in the elevator, going back to the room. It is uh, 1 15 back in Columbus. So uh, we're exhausted. Long day, successful time. Uh, at the event talking to some cool NFL guys so uh, ready to get up tomorrow and sell some stuff but another uh, another productive day in, in Cali so see you guys tomorrow for day day three see you guys then peace